Alrighty. Um. Twitch is not working. I hate you, Twitch. <laughs> Hello, guys. Fox is having today. We're doing some flashing lights. Um, as you can see, we're going to be doing some EMS. And behind me, you see the forward tourist. I don't know why this woman's walking up to me, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, get on with it, you know. Let's get on patrol. Oops. Opening up a few things at once. All right. So for first little bit, we're going to be rolling around in the um, Taurus. And then I'm thinking at some point we could just get the... Ambulance. So uh, let's go ten eight. Turn on the car. Turn my game up because it's so quiet. I'm unconscious person. All right. Open. I wish I, I like it out of the trunk has red and blue light, blue, red and blue lights. I wish we could change that. Oh yeah, we need a medic bag. I thought we could just straight up search her. Right. Let's see here. No pulse. Probably gonna need to get a defib. I know what we have in the car. We got a defib. We got this. We got the fracture kit. Only things we don't have are stretcher, obviously, and some of the bigger items. So we'll probably need a. We'll probably either need to do CPR, which we are doing now, and maybe get the defib out, I'm not too sure. At least they're going around my car, that's kinda nice. Just defib, alright. Excuse me, sir. Defib. Alright, so she is flatlined right now. Let's see if we can Oh, we're not shocking her ass. Or just uh, do more CPR. All right. Alrighty. All right. So she's responsive again, and. <sighs> How the fuck does this even happen? Of course, yeah, I have to ruin it. Alright, let's give her clothes back. And to call it for transport. We'll wait here until uh, transport arrives. Jesus. <laughs> I think I think they'll figure it out, right? back 10 eight so I like this I like the Taurus it's a good nice car it's like the for me at least in this game terms it's like a it has the speed of the Dodge but the elegance of the Vic you know jeez, oh, motor vehicle collision I'm not looking forward to do a I'm not gonna do like 10 car pile up one that's like no, not happening I think we'll do maybe one or two, maybe four more calls, something like that with this car, and then we'll switch to the amber lamps. There's a drunk guy walking over there, unfortunately, I do not have, I'm not a cop, so I can't do nothing about that. 
They're fine. Where is it? Jesus. So it must be like a small little collision. Did I just hit? Holy shit. So we re ugh, fuck. My, my English not so good, man. Uh so we're gonna be responding. <laughs> Why are we just slurring my words now? Uh, we're going to be responding. There we go. Code 3 to a uh, motor vehicle collision. So, yes. Oh, thank you. Dumbass, get the fuck out of the way. I just love the little dance we have to do with these morons. Like, they go to the left, you go to the right. They go to the right, you go to the left. They go to the left. It's like, get out of the way! It's like, they're trying to get out of the way, but they... There's such a delay that they, they get in your way actively. Alright, we're gonna be... why it's lagging so horribly, like I, I don't know what's going on. get the let's see what's wrong with her so or her I mean him um, so it appears he hit a tree so I'm suspecting maybe some bone fractures and possibly a concussion maybe he needs like a neck brace or something though I, since he's out here he obviously can move and walk I guess I mean I don't know I would bring him out of the car any accident, you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so he is unconscious. Let's take his shirt off because I know damn well what that's what we're gonna have to do with the uh, defib. Is uh, put his, the ECGs, or whatever they call. All right, so he is. He's alive. He's just unconscious right now so pretty simple one just had to check if he was alive which he is which is unconscious so this is a, he's a very lucky man there's no bone fractures no no neck injury it appears just a uh, just concussion so this guy's very lucky So we're just gonna stick here until EMS gets here. Well, the ambulance does. I mean, we're already, EMS is already here. <laughs> just the ambulance gotta pick him up. All right, they got him. We're good to head off as uh, they get rear-ended. going like 30, 20 miles an hour. It's like, there's an axe. Th this is an axe. Go quicker. Come on. Oh, geez. That guy's not going to make it to the hospital one piece, is he? I pray for that guy's safety. Jeez. 
I can't try. I can't try. Alrighty. So we're hop we're hopping on the highway. Hey, look at how we got a computer in here, we can't even use it. Like in the new map. I say new map, it's no I mean it is a new map. The computer works in there because you have to use the computer to activate calls and and uh make yourself available and shit like that, but Can it give me a different call than just a motor vehicle collision? Come on. We need something different, man. I swear, if we get another motor vehicle collision, I'm going to be the motor vehicle collision. I'm gonna fucking hit somebody. Um, for fuck's sakes, give us a different call. Fuck, let me run somebody over. There we go. Oh, look, that, uh, Vera is parked illegally, it's parked in front of a fire hydrant. There we go, that's a different call. Deal gone wrong. Why is it back here? <laughs> Seems kind of like a suspicious area, but yeah. All right, let's see. What is wrong with you, my man? No pulse. So we'll probably need to give him CPR. Not breathing, no pulse, not conscious. No pulse. No pulse, that looks like his leg's broken. Nope, apparently not. Alright, let's give him CPR. This is just weird. Alrighty. Grab the defib, you give him some shock, maybe. But I think for now we just gotta check if he's uh, alive at least. All right, yep, he is alive. All right, so pretty simple one as well. Just like the guy with the car accident, um, we just gotta call an ambulance. So thankfully we were able to resuscitate him. So he is. Well, he's not. I don't think he's awake right now, is he? No, he's not awake. It's, um, he's not awake, but he's alive, so that's good. I'm gonna wait for the ambulance to come over and pick him up, and then we'll head on our way. I think we'll switch to an ambulance once we get back. Well, they not know where we are? Like, where, where are they? I don't think they know where we are, do they? Is that... Is that the ambulance? Huh. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab ourselves an amber lamps. Go with the 
load. So we got this big boy. I like this one. Let's see, the siren's all right. Yep. All right, let's hit it. Now we can actually transport people to the hospital. Be a little bit more useful. Take the one that's. I'll take the guy who's on the ground over there since he would probably be the most difficult one in terms, in terms of the shit we gotta do. But the other guys, it's probably just a neck brace and. Yeah, that's probably about it. So I'm assuming by what it looks like, we might need to give him some CPR. for once we uh, pick him up. I know he's not ready for transport yet, but I just want to get him ready. I wonder how much extinguished does our... Oh. So we get the same extinguishers the cops do, which is like 45, but the uh, fire department gets like ones that have 100, which is kind of sad. Alright, all right, we need the defib. Uh, defib. There we go. Alrighty. Is this guy alive? Or do we need to shock him? Oh, we need to shock him, yep. His heartbeat is just... I don't even know. There we go. Now it's bounced. Alright, now we need to get the fracture kit. Let's go get that. I didn't see any bone fractures when I was going over him, but granted I... Never, I never pay attention to that shit, so. Alrighty. So in terms of this guy, he is all good to go. Uh, let's get the bag and bring it over to this nice lady over here. I'll drop that on the ground. Get ready to deal with her in a minute. Oh, wait, no. We probably should give him his shirt back. Just so he can go to the hospital with some dignity. You never want to go to the hospital shirt. Uh, you never want to go to the hospital shirtless, unless you're on drugs, which still you don't want to. But you know. All right, so that is him dealt with. Now we just need to deal with these fine people, and I cannot deal with her. Gotcha. But for some reason, for her, I cannot deal with her. I don't know why. Probably because I clicked on her and then clicked off and then took it away. I don't know. So I fucked it up. So we might have to reset. So we might be only we might only be able to bring 
this guy, that guy to the hospital. So, a caller, and then we gotta call the Amber Lamps for him. Alright, so he is good. Uh, now we just gotta go to the next person. Hello. So he's breathing. So he has a neck injury. So that makes, that makes sense. So we're probably probably giving him a neck brace and then leaving it at that. Maybe in the future when they update this game further, they could make it to where you turn off the hints so then you actually have to pay attention instead of it just holding your hand through the entire process. And like if you fuck up, you get docked points. So these two people are done. What about the person in the van? Can we deal with her again? No, we can't. Alright, gotcha. So... Unfortunately, we're gonna bring him to... The, oh, unfortunately. We are gonna bring him to the hospital. We're gonna reset because, um... The game's glitched, so... stuff happens, especially in games that are just brand new, pretty much. I mean, I say this game's brand new, it's been out for over a couple of years, it's just these indie games. It's funny, because I saw a YouTuber try playing this game, a couple of YouTubers and his friend, they were playing this game, and they, they didn't really seem to like it. Primarily because, primarily because they didn't understand, the game didn't really show them, you know. So the only issue with this game is it doesn't it doesn't push you through a tutorial, you're kind of just brought out into the open, you know. It's like it's like a, a baby being born and then telling it to learn calculus, you know. It's not or not telling it to learn calculus, telling it to do calculus. It's like no, that's not happening. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fucking analogy that was, but, you yeah, know, fuck you. So, we're just going to be a cop for a quick second, and then we're going to switch back to EMS. Fortunately, we got to do that, but, yeah, it is, it is what it is, my friend, it is what it is. What the fuck did I say that? Ugh. Oh, the whole fucking game's glitched. Because we still have the EMS call. As a cop. Which is not how that works. Not in the slightest. Alright, well, let's uh, leave the game. Let me go back in. Connection lost. No shit. <laughs> I closed the game. What do you. Ooh, maybe we can do a couple on the new. We can do a couple things on the new map. Maybe the game will crash. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Who knows? Honestly, I'm I'm very much looking forward to this game's future. It seems like it's doing well. People, uh, the people in the RP community like it. I mean, sure, there's other police games out there that are more advanced than Flashing Lights is, but out of the thousands of RP games there are like this, this is like one of the best. And also, it's kind of. I, I want to say it's unique. It's kind of good in the fact that it does. It's not just named like a generic thing, like all oh, police simulator, you know, police simulator, or you know, stupid shit like that. It actually sounds unique. Flashing lights. Unique. Oh. Wait. So we can spawn either at the hospital or the or the fire department. 
That's pretty neat. I did not know that. Alright, done. Now, if we spawn at the hospital, do we get. Can we switch our vehicle to have a hard farm delivery? Because that'd be cool. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. All right, so let's let's go. Let's actually explore this place. So we got what do we what do we what do we got over here? Oops, I can't go here. So we got some computers. It looks like the garage. Looks like it's a pretty basic garage. They don't have any garage doors. Oh, there's my ambulance. Alrighty, can we, can we change the livery? Actually, I need to change the siren anyways. Nope. Alrighty. Alrighty, 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 alright. This map's beautiful, by the way really detailed so it might be a little bit more difficult for me to get around which is to be expected all right so and of course the FOV is all fucked up so I can't well, let me tr let me turn off the FOV thing uh, graphics ah depth of field turn that shit off there we go. Still doesn't see me help see the thing. Search a database. So they still haven't finalized that shit. Active. So let's respond. So not everything's fixed or finalized. I accepted it through the other thing, but then it wouldn't let me accept it through the CAD. I don't know what's happening. There's the person. And the thing is, it they haven't polished it right. It, like, you can use the CAD, and it's pretty cool. But the only issue with it is, is that, one, you can take calls not from the CAD. And when you, when you get done with the call, it automatically clears it. It doesn't allow you to go into it and clear it yourself. But, in tandem with that, I don't think it was intentional, if, say, we had a glitch like we did earlier that would have been useful because then we could have just cleared ourselves from the call and you know been on our way but so I think I saw a bone fracture just there I don't know why the cop pulled it pulled her car up on the curb like that but yeah I'm what I'm wondering how good the AI are driving on this new map because the other map's been on for a lot longer and At least the, sh the shine of the vehicles is a lot more defined, so the ambulance looks beautiful. Same with the cop car. Alrighty. Put those on. Alright, he's flatlined, so we probably need to CPR his ass. Live, damn you! customize the light pattern of your vehicles it's just it's kind of a complicated thing to use so we got to get that let's remove that um, let's get this stretcher over here just because we'll, we'll need it
You know, I should probably start putting cones around my scenes just so people don't fucking start walking on my scenes like that. Fracture kit. And game. I get horribly for no apparent reason. Alright, let's break the stretcher. Let's bring the fracture kit back to the ambulance. Give him his clothes back. Get him on the stretcher, bring to the ambulance, and we'll bring him to the hospital, which is behind us. So we'll probably need to go down another side street, pull a Yui or whatever. Oh, back the stretcher up. Back that bitch up. Alright, thank you, Officer. Alright. Patient secured. hospital area. Alright, let's get him over there. Alright. And like always, it just automatically clears the call for us because Another call came in while we were doing that. Uh, responding unit 1006. That's nice. Multiple calls are happening at once. That's nice. Okay, so we got our ambulance on the curb. Uh, first, let's secure the scene just so nobody gets in our way. So we'll just put some cones around here. Yeah, there's a thing called go around the ambulance, but I know the AI are too stupid for that. Oh. Alright, let's see. What's wrong with you, buddy? I'm an unconscious person. No pulse, so we'll probably need to do some CPR. No pulse. No pulse. Okay. Possible bone fracture. I don't know why he has a possible bone fracture, but that's not our reason to know. Our only re thing is to help him. So, he, I mean, he potentially might have had an issue and he fell and broke his arm, which is totally plausible. I'm not ruling that one out at all. Alright, let's get him hooked up, see what's wrong, see if he's still alive. Alive! Alive. Um, I wonder why we need to shock him. Like, this has happened before. Maybe we didn't need to shock him, but now all of a sudden we do. I don't know what the circumstances mean for that, but whatever. Alright, so let's shock his ass. Alrighty. See, that didn't change anything too much, so we'll probably need to get him to the hospital quickly. I put the fracture kit right on his face. 
Alright, let's pick up the fracture, fracture kit, or not. That's fine, we'll pick all this up later. Add a stretcher. Okay. Alright, got him. I oh, probably shouldn't put his shirt back on. Whatever. Alright, so that's dealt with. Alright, now we just need to grab our cones, our med bag, and we'll be uh, good to go. Sir, we'll get you to the hospital soon. Did I turn off the computer? Why is it still? Whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's back this bitch up. Come on. There we go. We successfully completed the call. And... I'm sorry, if I look at that computer... Do I see speed right now? Alright, well, that was a good thing we did. We saved an individual, and that was great. We did a good job. We did a good job today. Um, honestly, I originally planned to do a police thing, but the last couple of times I've tried to do it, either my headphone jack has decided to unplug for some reason, or I haven't felt, I've just been too tired. I don't know, man. Um, I guess there's no excuse for the fact that I've been, I skipped at least two weeks. I've just been kind of taking a break. Um, I will try to get back to the swing of things. It's going to be difficult, but I do enjoy doing this. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. It's not one of my finest episodes, but, you know, it is what it is. And I love it so much because a bot got bit. <laughs> Just look, because I streamed this on Twitch for a video and I look and I see a fucking bot got timed out. What a fucking stupid bot. That's like the reason why I didn't That's the whole reason. Like I put it on followers only so I wouldn't get these uh, bots. And I got them. Well, Wisebot took care of that. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Well... That'll be it. See ya.